Hello people of YouTube, um, back to this BMW ABS fault, um, I've removed the old pump uh, the other day and I didn't film any of this I don't think, and removed the motor from it and the motor is kaput, no <laughs> so I need a new one. Just so happens, I have one here. Now the eagle eye of you will notice that there's two extra ports there. To mine, I'll tape mine up so I don't get muck in it. Two extra ports. But other than that, it's exactly the same, apart from, if you look at this bar, if you can see that, this bar in the wiring plug, is different, so it won't, the wiring harness won't plug into this one, unless they were extra safe. So it's the motor that's faulty. I need to swap that. The other thing that's different, I'll turn this one over this way. This one says BMW. And this one says Ford Motor Co. And that's because this is a 2013. Ford Focus. Obviously, the electronics are going to be different, and the valve block yeah, is going to be different because it's got four wheels and not two. But the motor is exactly the same, which is the part which is faulty on here. So hopefully, I can now swap that to there, and I shall have one good unit. And this only cost, yeah, and the other thing, um, I don't know what these cost from BMW, but to have this one reconditioned, I think it's around £300. I paid £30 for this, off of eBay. It wasn't even worth me going to a scrapyard, I thought, £30, it's removed and posted, free postage. So... Obviously, if I if it doesn't work, I've lost me thirty quid because I can't send it back. But so now I'll I'll see if I can get the the, uh, the motors off. Right, first the BMW. So I've already unpinned this, and that just pulls off of there like that. Just the BMW one off. Can't move that out of the way. This is the Ford one. You've got these little tabs on here. Just need to So, just got to uh, put these tabs back.
careful not to damage the pump. The motor. It doesn't matter if I damage this pump on this one, but there's the other side, the other way. It was the other way. Just compare the two, they're exactly the same. Right, in a little test of a couple of wires, I just flash it across the back way. <laughs> That's much better. Well, I've just put a, a smear of red brake rubber grease on there just to seal it. I'll clean this up. Obviously, it's going to see on there. So, I'll put the two together. Let's go on. Now before it was it was two four wedges sort of in the side. Well, it doesn't really need that, I don't think. So I just get a centre punch and uh, form some form some indents on it just to hold it down. Chisel that one off.
that's good, I think. This one's not the prettiest, but... You can look dry. Right, it's all back together now. And if you just look at this, let it go through its startup sequence. Just to show the light now. When it comes on. <laughs> now it flashes like it should, and then when I ride the bike, it goes out. So that's a win, I think. Um, obviously, if you're going to do this mod or do this repair, it's down to you to make sure the parts fit for your car or your bike. I've used non standard parts or non standard to BMW. I mean, they're, they're both ATE. Um, ABS modulators or mod, yeah. So essentially they're the same, but if it's, it's for you to make sure you're using correct suitable parts for your own bike. Okay, thanks. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want, and I'll hopefully put some more videos up soon.